Are you ready to be shocked? Saudi Arabia has recently made a terrifying discovery that has left the entire world in awe. The discovery was made by researchers at Mount Sinai, a well-known destination located in the south-central Sinai Peninsula between Israel and Egypt, where visitors from all walks of life, including tourists, skeptics, and scientists, have made unexpected discoveries. Scholars have had different ideas about Mount Sinai's precise location, and scientists have also expressed conflicting ideas, leaving the issue unresolved. In this video, we will explore the shocking discovery and discuss the controversy surrounding it. So, keep watching to find out more. Despite being considerably shorter than Mount Everest at 8,850 meters in height, Mount Sinai's most well-known landmark is the 2,285 meter tall granite mountain. The exodus is widely regarded as having occurred in this region despite differences in opinion among Jewish, Christian, and Islamic scholars regarding the precise path the Israelites took. Between 381 and 384 AD, during the early years of Messianic Christianity, Eusebius of Caesarea and Algerian pilgrims made the earliest documented journeys to the region. Throughout time, mystics and travelers have made their way to this area in search of enlightenment, possibly including Paul the Apostle around 538 AD. St. Catherine's Monastery, where an archive of historic manuscripts is kept by the Orthodox Church of Mount Sinai, is located at the foot of the mountain. A 4th century Greek Codex Sinaiticus of the Bible, thought to be one of the oldest continuously inhabited Christian monasteries in the world, is one of the library's treasures. Controversial is Ron White's claim that Mount Sinai is actually in Jebel Laws, his claims included finding the Ark of the Covenant, Saddam and Gomorrah, the Red Sea crossing, Noah's Ark, and other biblical artifacts. Wyatt's theory was based on Exodus chapter 3 verse 1, which claims that Moses came across the mountain of God in Midian while taking care of Jethro's livestock. Jethro was a Midian priest. Wyatt found Mount Sinai in 1978 in the Gulf of October and Nawaba which he thought to be east of the fabled Red Sea crossing in western Saudi Arabia. The tallest peak in western Saudi Arabia, Jabal Laws, was named by him as the most likely location. He and his two sons, however, were detained by Saudi authorities in 1984 when they went there illegally to explore and take pictures of the area under the pretext of being Israeli spies, and they were held there for 78 days. In order to find the Mountain of God, Egyptian treasure, and Pharaoh's massive army at the bottom of the Red Sea, White formally made his way back to Saudi Arabia. Although several delegations and academics made discoveries in the years that followed, most experts think that they are still speculative and lack concrete archaeological confirmation. A quarter mile away from a location with cattle petroglyphs, White found the fabled mountain to be nothing more than a large collection of granite boulders. He asserted that this location was the sizable altar of Israel at the base of Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia, and it may even have been the altar of the Golden Calf. He cited a Saudi archaeologist from Riyadh University who said that this site contained bulls and cows in the Egyptian style that had never been before discovered in Saudi Arabia to bolster his claims. This provided more solid evidence that Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia. Moses scattered the ashes of the golden calf he burned into a creek after coming down from Mount Sinai with the tablets containing the Ten Commandments according to the Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 21. The old watershed is thought to be evidence of a swift, powerful stream that cut its course down the slope after emerging through a rock. It is full of large rocks that have been water polished. They were looking for a miracle in a dry area when they came across a large rock that appeared to be split in half. They believed it might have been the one that Moses had struck to give the nation's thirsty people water while preventing him from entering the promised land. Could this serve as proof that this is Mount Sinai? Rather than relying solely on visual evidence, some experts argue that the researchers' claims need to be supported by a group of geologists who examine the rock. Although it is an arid desert, the area gets a lot of rain about 100 millimeters or 4 inches annually, with sporadic severe tropical monsoon rains causing flash floods that can polish the rocks. 
It has been proposed that Mount Sinai might be located somewhere in Israel's Negev Desert, between Petra and Kadesh Barnea. According to the study's investigators, who refer to the area as Har Karkom, or the Mountain of Saffron, the ancient Hebrews traveled directly from the Sinai Peninsula to Petra and then on to Harkom. They assert that earlier excavation and research teams at Biblical Mount Sinai found shrines, altars, stone circles, stone pillars, and more than 40,000 rock carvings on the plateaus nearby. Even though the site's religious activity predates the exodus from Egypt, which is generally believed to have been taken place during 1600 and 1200 BC, Israeli scholars continue to insist that Har Karkum is the biblical Mount Sinai by citing the presence of bees and other local evidence. The Israeli researchers have proposed changing the exodus from Egypt's original date to between 2350 and 2000 BC to address the chronological discrepancy, and this revision is supported by more archaeological evidence. But academics frequently reject such revisionist chronologies. The abundance of early bronze religious structures and artifacts that have been found at the site, as well as other locations in the Negev and Sinai regions, have been used as an early counter-argument to the Harakam claim. This suggests that these structures are not unique to this particular site. Christians place a high value on Mount Sinai because of its significance in the Bible. The Israelites encountered a number of terrifying situations here. The biblical narrative claims that the Israelites fled Egypt and arrived in the Sinai Desert, where God appeared to Moses in a cloud and communicated with him. God called Moses to make the mountain holy and forbid the people from climbing it after Moses has prepared the people. Disobedient people received immediate punishment. From the mountain, God then gave Moses the Ten Commandments and other directives. God spoke, and Moses came down and recited the instructions to the people who vowed to follow them. After that, God commanded Moses to spend 40 days and 40 nights in the cloud. God gave him instructions at this time to build the tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant, and he also received specific instructions on how to consecrate the priest's garments. When Moses wasn't around, the Israelites got upset and made a golden calf to worship. When Moses pleaded for mercy, God backed down and stopped threatening the people. The Israelites were worshipping the golden calf as Moses descended the mountain, which infuriated him. He threw the two tablets containing the Ten Commandments to the ground, shattering them. The Ten Commandments were later inscribed on two additional tablets that Moses brought to Mount Sinai as directed by God over the course of an additional 40 days and 40 nights. For millennia, the Israelites would be governed by these commandments. More people disagree about where Mount Sinai actually is than they do about where the Israelites actually crossed the Red Sea to leave Egypt. The Gulf of Akabar passage, suggested by the Doubting Thomas Research Foundation, is one of the most widely believed hypotheses. The Bible claims that Moses prayed for God to part the water so that the Israelites could cross safely, and that the Egyptian chariots that were pursuing them perished and were sunk. Security expert Ryan Marlow and his team claim that Jabela laws in Saudi Arabia are Mount Sinai, and the documentary Finding the Mountain of Moses, the True Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia, details their discoveries. At Nuwapa Beach, which is only 8 miles wide, the Israelites would have easily crossed the Red Sea. The Scottish theory is supported by Mount Sinai, which is 75 miles away. According to a recent Weber Crossing study by Dr. Glenn Fritz, which was motivated by the Doubting Thomas Research Foundation, the biblical account corresponds to a five-mile coastline flanked by mountains that could have held three million Jewish refugees. It's possible that the Israelites crossed the 33-meter deep natural Nueva Lampart Bridge. It's interesting to note that some experts think the strange coral formations in the region resemble chariots that may have sunk during the Red Sea crossing. The Saudi government, however, or paid researchers from scuba diving at the site. Cave paintings of cows in the region also imply that it was an Israelite camp and might be connected to the Golden Calf incident. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating discussion on the search of, for Mount Sinai and the controversial discoveries made by Ron White. While there is still much for debate among scholars and experts, it is clear that this topic continues to capture the imagination of people from all walks of life. 
Whether you believe that Mount Sinai is located in Saudi Arabia or somewhere else entirely, there is no denying the significance of this iconic biblical landmark. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.